Hello folks and welcome back to Rainport 22. Here we are, we're in October. And yes, we have been a bit busy. We've got a few stuff here to sell, but yeah. Money's gone up quite a lot. That's because we've been doing tons of contracts. We've also done contracts on Field 8, Field 7 and that, done potatoes. We've done side contracts on 9, 10, Fields 1, 24 and 25. So... What I'm going to do now is include some screenshots of us doing that, and maybe one or two clips here. So yeah, we've seen that these are screenshots. I didn't screenshot every contract we did. That was my mistake, because I initially did clips and that. But anyway, so first of all, we got stuff to sell including our header here this is a well, our 9.3 meter 9.4 meter header something on those lines so which one is it i think it's at the far end there's not the tall height control stuff so yeah it's this one here we've got the furry fur however if we can get an extra five feet 59 and a half grand or at the moment it is available on second hand market so you know what? I'm going to purchase that. A 10.4 meter header. No idea if this is going to work with our combine, but let's go for it. So, but yeah, also I'm going to sell our old mower and that because I want to be upgrading this and wind rower. Won't be in this episode, but will be in a future one, of course. So, also we're selling our Deutz Farby for repairs and service it all. Because, yeah, that is a very worn tractor. It's got three hours on it at the moment. So, I think one of the first things we're going to do is buy a new tractor. And, yeah, even though we've yeah, got over half a mil, we still need to pay off that loan. Or at least part of it. So, I'll take care of that. But, yeah, one of the things I'm going to be looking at is just simply... Go for the upgrade, so, yep, KE attacher, work lights, all that other good stuff. Uh, let's go with BKTs, white tires. And I think what that would do us for now. Obviously that means we've lost the ability to have a front loader, but... One thing I'm going to be looking at is, in terms with getting a skid steer or a tander, or even a wheel loader, get this one here for 40 grand. Got tanders, looking at, not that one, yeah, 72 grand, or 90 grand for that one, which is a common one I tend to go with, just because, I think it's this one, yeah, that's got the three point leakage on the back. Oh yeah, even the skistier now, like, yeah, get the Massey Ferguson 7-Eleven. I know who is a common one I tend to go for. But yeah, 25 grand for that. Yeah, nothing under miscellaneous. And yeah, so... Yeah, we've got that header. Obviously, you would need a tr header trailer for that, so... Let's go and grab that. 11 grand later, so yeah. Obviously, yeah, we're at 430 grand. However, we did purchase plot 56, which I am going to sell. Yeah, that was a bit of a cheeky full work. I thought, yeah, purchase like that, do the grass work on that. Turns out it was how much grass we could have gone because it's all on a hillside. So yeah, that leaves us with 550 grand. And yeah, can we purchase this? No, not quite. But however, since we've got the fixed crop price and the harvest profit mod, so should be looking good and pretty much we get any amount of profit straight away oh uh, yeah we've been doing our day sales of propane we've done september and october's we do have another trailer ready with this this is what we've got leased out at the moment the case ihs 1800 so yeah i'm gonna keep that for another two days of leasing it's stuck on the header now. Let's get it all hooked up. 
So right, again, our header is now attached to the header trailer. Also, I got an ad purchase two more of these trailers, so now we've got a capacity of 90,000 litre support. So yeah, let's head back to the farm, let's rest up to November. Because yeah, I know we've got a contract we can do right now. But I'm going to wait for that. But yeah, I need to fill up one of these trailers off. In your sorry there, <laughs> lost my voice there a sec, so yeah. I need to fill one of these trailers up in your because our greenhouses are almost out, so... Obviously, in last episode, we set everything to sell. Sell or, of course, distribute in. But yeah, also... 363 grand, or 363,000 litres. Now everything's at max price. We can sell all the slides, so you know what? I know we could do it ourselves and that, but I went to pay the selling fee in that. Actually, you know what? No, let's do it ourselves, so... Let me get the manure sword in a sec. And then, yeah, we'll go and sell that silage quickly. So, right, we're in November now. That's because I got two trays loaded on manure and that took a while to use up. So, yeah, this train idea is not working. So, I'll go and get a bigger trailer. We're going to be using that for the harvest. So,. But anyways, let's go and sell all the silage, or at least the first two sections we've got here. So we've got obviously this bit here and the bigger trailer, so that's going to be about 190-ish thousand litres of silage. That is 37 grand. Also, we've got all of these bells here, so these are... These ones here are seven and a half thousand litres, and we actually got a massive one here. So yeah, this is silage. So now we should be able to just go in. There we go. That is selling. I'll sell the rest of these bells. Oh, yeah, this is from all that field we did yesterday, or not yesterday, well, yesterday in real life, but not yesterday in game. So yep, that is all that silage sold. That's a additional 77 grand. And selling that last bit of silage, we're now at just over half a mil. And uh, yeah, I think, yeah, let's get more than over half, just over half a mil by doing a daily sell of, or a monthly sell of our propane which some of it is going to be here at the propane but yeah there's enough propane in here also we just sold a little bit of us not a little bit we sold our front loader and stuff and that since we don't have a front loader anymore so let's take the rest to the sell everything container which after all said and done we're now at five hundred and sixty nine thousand dollars and yeah I'm gonna sell two of these traders and yeah I know we literally just bought this second hand however I've noticed in the second hand market we've got the New Holland CR690 in second hand market and that is the low horsepower version but for three grand I think, you know what, it's time to upgrade, it's like, it's taking forever to do all of the work and that, so, Tiger Edition, screw it, why not? Because, yeah, I do love this combine, we use this on Court Farm, and I'm going to use it, use this here in America, so, I'm going to purchase that, and, yeah, this does come with the Superflex Draper header and that, but I'm not going to be using that. Instead, I'm going to be using this. So, we got two options. So, got that, a header tray for that. But you know what? I'm just going to go with the draper now. We could do it at 10 miles an hour. And after kitting out with the appropriate colours, 72,000 for that. So, not too bad. And to be honest, we could have got the, an extra 0.1 metre now if we'd done the non draper version. And it would have been cheaper in that as well. 
with the header tray, but... Well, nope. Speaking of which, my fault. Yeah, let's go and grab it that way. But, yes, yeah, so we are debt-free. And, yeah, after all of that, we're still at 347 grand, so... But yeah, since everything's at its maximum optimal price, let's get this soybean harvested because, yeah, we've got 6, 12, and 13 to do. And that is going to be a lot of soybeans. I've still got the train out on these. Don't think that's hit its hour yet. Nope. And actually, one thing we'll do is return you. Because we're done with being for now. Yes, I know what that being contract on. 26 we can do, but yeah, it's not worth it at the moment. We don't have any of the equipment for it, so yeah, we've got all of the soybeans to do. Let's just go and get everything unfolded. So yeah, I think if we get enough money, if we can purchase field 8, it'd be nice. But yeah, that requires 606 grand. Or even one of these fields here, like, if we go bigger now with these fields, 405 grand, I think we can get enough money to get that. But yeah, so now we are harvesting. Swell slightly faster at 10 miles an hour. And yeah, can't get straw again, it's a cork farm. Can't get soybean straw on that. But yeah, so, anyways. Let's get this harvesting done. It shouldn't take us as long now since we've got a big header and we can do it at 10 to 11 miles an hour. So yeah, let's get this done and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. done with the harvesting, that took a little while, so long the fact that we leased a second combine harvester, just to do that field over there, so, yeah, that was, yeah, I think it cost us, what, 30, no, it's not off, for about 25, 20 grand or so, in leasing cost, but the initial leasing cost, plus another, I think it was, yeah, only 8 grand, because we literally use it for like 1.8 or 1.9 hours. But anyway, so we've got our first load into the train silo for Alma. And we'll put this other load in. Also what we've done is contracts on field 3 and field 19. They are done. We've got 3,000 litres ready to sell on that. So, because yeah, I think we've got about 22,000 litres from both fields. 20 or so thousand. And also we've got 20,000 litres of bells, because we did a contract on field 26, so we've got three bells from that, so let's go and put this in. So whilst we're putting the crop in, let's go and sell these, so yeah, most of this of course is going to be for, yeah, for the contract, but yeah, 31 grand, so what's that, about 10,000 litres or so was for us, so not too bad. Let's go sell those bells. Five grand profit. Nice. So that's some extra money coming in. 
So yeah, we're at 450 grand. But we still got think figure out ways to get how much we've got in storage. And here comes the train, and yep, yeah, storage and that, so 163,000 litres, and yep, yeah, because we've got the fixed crop sell price and that, we've, yeah, almost four grand for that, so actually, that's going to set us up pretty well, I think, so let's turn on the train. See, so yeah, I want to open first cover here. No idea what the capacities are. So you put all sorts of stuff in there, but we want to put all of the soybeans in, so by the looks of it we're gonna need a second cart. So yeah, 90,000 litres in that first cart. And yeah, the fill is to about 75% in total between the two carts. 77 so yeah we're, we're getting almost four grand for a thousand liters we should get about half mil about yeah 550 grand or so from this and if that's the case then we can really yeah purchase field eight have the money for equipment because yeah we've got that in the second hand market it's basically the crew mower but with the P2 shaft, so what we can do is whack our baiter, our normal baiters on there. So yeah, that can do 15 miles an hour. And our two baiters, we can do 10 and 10 miles an hour respectively, so... And I will be using those. I will be using, you know, like the quick, quick bell stuff and that. Only if it comes with the contracts, but then, as I've done, with the exception of that first bell mistake we've done in the start of the episode, there will be just normal size bells, so... But yeah, ten. I want to avoid using those. Unless we're borrowing from contract, because the contract gives us it, then fine. But now we're getting this mower and that, because we've got enough money. Shouldn't need to worry about that, so see how much we can get. And, oh boy! 642. That, on its own, is enough for field 8. And yeah, so, so yeah, that's gonna be enough for field eight. And really, if we're getting three hundred whatever quid for silage. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Have I done fills nine and ten? Ah, uh, yeah, done all of them actually. To be honest, so that's gonna be a small problem. Because yeah, I think grass is stops growing. Yeah, so. Ain't gonna be able to mow. But yeah, I'm thinking getting more money in by doing wood chips. So for example, purchasing forestry. And since these are yeah, oak logs now, these are very encumbersome in terms of dealing with, so actually wait a minute. If that's four grand we're on normal economy. What happens if I put it on easy? Does it go up even more? Oh yeah, six and a half grand. Nope. So yeah. So yeah, we're still on normal economy in that. And how much would it be on hard economy? Still two grand, not too bad. But yeah, stick it on to normal. So yeah, we're not on easy mode or anything. And how much can we get for the wood chips? Because yeah, obviously you can get more for dogs than that. For wood chips, so grain at very west. But yeah, just look at that. Like come December, the price just rockets up like like that. So of course, yeah. So does wood. Actually, no, wood goes down in the same month. Technically, we get more wood from the wood sensation. And yeah, if these were normal logs, that normal trees, like those ones over there, then yeah, I'll do that. But yeah, since that is oaks, I'm gonna need this. And, and yeah, I will pay the premium for realisticness, so we can actually have a pipe. So six grand, a bit expensive, but to be fair. 
I don't think that's going to be an issue for us. So next, I want to borrow a large tractor and that with a front three-point linkage. So something like the Fent of Lario. Actually, no, that's a bit too expensive. Because yeah, how did we do this last time over the winter last year? Not sure. But yeah, terms with traders. It's bonus, like, even though I returned it, I think we should use that again. So yeah, I think we get quite a bit of wood chip, so... Yep, yeah, not, we're not doing Unreal Capacity, we're not doing... Yeah, I've, I'm playing it fine, I'll admit I'll play it finely, I am with, in terms with... How I'm going about this, but... So yeah, I'm just going to borrow that. I need to borrow the Dolly again, so... We'll grab you. And to be honest, I'm going to try with our most powerful tractor, which is this, because, yeah, how much horsepower have we got with this, so... Yeah, 315. Matt struggle pulling three of these up a hill with... Sorry, would wood chips be lighter or heavier than silage? To be honest, I don't know. And yet, also, whilst we was harvesting, we did go about and service the combine itself. So I can't remember if it's the headers or the combine itself, and it's under 50% you lose yieldage. But regardless, I should have done it first of all, but didn't. But, anywho, that's where I'm going to leave it today. I'm going to take us back to the garage. Actually, no, before, well, not the garage, to the yard. And yeah, before we go. I'm going to show one thing I put in. It's a way of storing our header net. And also, it's in a spot where we can service it and wash it at the same time whilst it's being stored. It's part of the mod that came up recently. I oh, can't remember what it's exactly called, but I'll get it up now. So yeah, just got it up here. So yeah, it's the Lizard Hydroglide XL Header Storage System. This is by Superfly 1842, and when I did my mod review of this, I did say it was mod of the day. And yeah, also, I did notice we're having some issues harvesting some parts of this field up here, so... That's going to need to be looked at. But yeah, so... I've got it here, and it just about fits, I mean... Yeah, luckily the pipe is tall enough, because otherwise we'll be hitting that combine, so... On to the rack one. So it's that top one there. And to be honest, since we've got this combine, we should get a corn header in. To be honest, yeah, I think so. But yeah, let's go and wash this. So yeah, that is our equipment, nice and clean. And actually, so yeah, we've got a toolbox here, this is by Schultz Modding. Yeah, I know we've got a workshop there, but it's very cumbersome to use it, so... Wait a minute, why aren't we... Yeah, workshop. Pressing, I'm um, pressing L3, but... Ah, wait a minute, this is because... Maybe because of where I am and that? I don't know. But yeah, like, pressing L3. Oh, interesting. How about if I just move back here? Literally, as I stop recording to find out where the trigger was. But yeah, so, there we go. I'm gonna put you over here. For a few things going tink tink, so... But yeah, we'll be purchasing that in the next episode. And any contracts popping up? Nope. But yeah, so November is our last chance to get stuff drilled. So, yeah, we're going to be purchasing field 8. And maybe purchase more fields, because... Yeah, that's going to be 606 grand. And to be honest, I am tempted to buy that. 
do a bit of cheeky f flipping. Actually, you know what? I won't flip. flip. If I say, for every tree we cut down, we'll plant a tree here. So, have a bit of stable profits and that. But yeah, I want to learn that. Go and purchase a corn header. Because I want to do corn as well. Because, yep, yeah, I still want that. Uh, what's it? Uh, corn dryer and that. So, got a couple of options. So, yeah, 12 meters at 6 miles an hour. Or 9 meters at 10. So, that is a further speed. But for a quarter. Yeah, first. Yeah. Actually, you know what? That is more profitable. Not profitable, but what's the word? Uh, more efficient. So, yeah. Because, yeah, that is 25% smaller, but it does it at third faster. So, and, yeah, it's pretty much half the price as well. So, yep. Yeah, New Holland Yellow. Yep. Yeah, we got that there. Do we go yellow or do we go black that's berry carbon fiber oh no that looks uh, to be honest that looks quite ugly that does to be honest this is this is the chrome blackout one yeah i'm really tempted that got yeah blackout one or jet black nope chrome chrome it is i'll treat myself an extra 82 bucks Screw it. And yeah, we can get this just about across the tracks. Traffic is now going to be interesting when we navigate it, but to be fair, we should be having a court header trailer for this, but I'm thinking Merc 612, 612, just do a massive cornfield there. 13 could be something else. Field 8 is going to be weight to that. And yeah, to be honest, I'm starting to look at that again, like animals in, like purchasing plot land. Not sure where, but somewhere flat so we can get cows in, sheep in, chickens in. I don't even heck it. Even pigs in that I'll try. So, obviously, yeah, with this pack here. Yeah, there's a couple ways to go about this, but since it's a 13 meter, so I do have to do a little bit of a jiggery pokeriness with it, but that should work. There we go. And yeah, I do love that. And yeah, all the mods I'll be using will be in the description down below. In terms, just in terms of what I've used, not any links and that. But a maze. That's what we're going to leave it today. We are a millionaire now. Didn't surprise, I mean, I'm quite surprised about it, but yeah, we need to progress in that. And yep, yeah, more fields to be purchased in that. So yep, yeah, that's what we're going to leave it today. And as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, Hoping to stay, but for now, this is me for our Envoy Stream, and I'll see you all uh, very soon. <laughs>